Welcome, I'm Dr. Nancy Parsley, the incoming Dean of the Dr. William M. Scholl College of Podiatric Medicine at Rosalind Franklin University of Medicine and Science. And today, we wanna to take the opportunity to sit down with two alumni from Scholl College to discuss the future of podiatric medicine. Hi, I'm Dr. Kathleen Stone. I am the current president of the American Podiatric Medical Association and in private practice in Glendale, Arizona. I would tell a young woman who is looking at podiatric medicine as a career that it is one of the most rewarding and satisfying experiences. That there is a possibility for having a balance between family life, uh, educational life, and political life. Uh, to have that balance, uh, I think that the schools particularly, and I, I will always say that Shoal presents and prepares their students very well for the well-rounded experience of, of being able to balance all of those things. I think when I look now at my uh, classmates uh, from Shoal, they're very involved in the political process, they're involved in their state organizations, and it doesn't have to be more than going to a meeting once every couple of months to be involved, and, and I think that the opportunities are endless. There are so many possibilities, so many options, so many opportunities that exist within podiatric medicine that you really need to find for yourself what makes you happy and what, what gets you going every single day. Mm -hmm. and I would say explore all, all of those possibilities and opportunities, and when you find something that you really enjoy about the profession, then embrace that and make the most of that. Mm -hmm. And I remember my mentors within the political arena with that, uh, with, at the American Podiatric Medical Association, and I, I look to those mentors now as I see them uh, in my travels this year as president, and I, I, it means so much to me, not only personally as the pinnacle of my career, but also to, as you said, to show younger women that they can attain this as well, that there are different varieties of not only practice, but with being involved within your profession. Absolutely. And I think about all the people who have influenced me and who have helped me get to this position. Mm -hmm. And that has, those individuals have made such a difference in my life. And to be able to have the opportunity to make that type of difference in the lives of our young students, I think is just incredible. It's an immense effort. Absolutely, absolutely. As APMA president this year, uh, my role actually in shaping some of the future of podiatric medicine is in my mentorship to people who are coming behind me. I think that when you look at a year, it's a very short period of time, uh, but I've actually been on the Board of Trustees for 12 years. That's enabled me to look at the whole profession and to look at our educational process and to work with all the schools and within all of the state components and in the legislature as well. I think that it's important that we have continuity with that, that we continue that process as we go on. If I had an opportunity to speak with a young woman today, I would tell her to reach for the stars because the opportunities are limitless. I always say different strokes for different folks because we need people who are doing research. We need people in the academic environment. We need people who are engaged in the political process. And we also need people who are working hard in the community and serving the community. So there are lots of different possibilities, lots of different opportunities, and it really depends upon what you want to do. So allowing those individuals to embrace what really makes them happy becomes very important and there are so many possibilities that exist within the profession of podiatric medicine. I think you're so right that it, it becomes a, a situation where if I were to speak to a young woman today and talk to her about the, the career of podiatric medicine I would first say that it is the most fulfilling of any of the medical careers that I go home every single day uh, with a very satisfied happy feeling having helped my patient walk and continue to be independent. I think as we move towards the future with the baby boomer generation that it's so important for this independence to continue and that's part of what we do as podiatric physicians. And having the ability to either go into academia uh, and to work on research or to actually be in private practice and go into the political arena to have your voice heard and to continue the process of keeping us independent I think is one of the most important things in podiatric medicine right now and Shoal is on the cutting edge of making sure that those students are well prepared for that as they graduate. Absolutely. I think about what's happening with our dual degree program, the DPM PhD program. So exciting. And the research that is occurring there. It's creative, it's innovative, mm -hmm. it has the ability to impact not only podiatric medicine, but medicine in general. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's such a positive thing. And, and, and that's part of what the opportunities are within podiatric medicine. Thank you, Dr. Stone, for taking the opportunity to join us today to have a conversation. And I really enjoyed the opportunity to speak with you. 
It means so much to me uh, to, to sit here and have this conversation with you as the incoming dean and also from my role as APMA president to, to look back over the years and know that the, the two Shoal alumni are sitting here having this conversation about the future of podiatric medicine today. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for joining us. Thank you.